Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more Watch the Mighty Jujutsu Kaisen. We're on episode 12, to you, someday. Uh, Mahito just put this veil, he didn't change the, uh, uh, what do you want to call it? He didn't make a new space or whatever they call it, in, like, the, like the volcano that guy did. He didn't exactly do that, someone corrected me in the comments. Um, he put this, like, mystical veil bubble thing around this school, so his uh disciple who name escapes me right now um could get revenge on who he suspects put the finger in his mom's apartment leading to her death because that demon showed up uh but we also got revealed that uh mojito was more more than likely not like behind that uh which is typical you know typical villain thing um and then Yuji shows up at the end. So it's all sort of uh, coming together. We're probably going to get a fight or something in this episode. Um, so yeah, that's all I really want to say for Precursor. I'm kind of curious to see what happens next. And uh, let's begin in three, two, one, go. Hopefully the flickering doesn't happen in this recording. I edited some settings. and uh, But if it does, I apologize. Veil. Yeah, that's the name of what he actually did. Oh, shit. Who's he got with him? Who's that guy in black? <clears throat> Eno Kun. <laughs> oh, he's basically saying prove yourself. All right, let's see what. <laughs> okay, I already like this guy. He's got a fun attitude. <coughs> Hmm. <laughs> weird way to start running. He kind of like galloped. That was weird. <laughs> okay. Oh, Junpei. Yeah. Oh, God. Is that a jellyfish behind him? Is that what we've always seen a jellyfish in the opening? I do like how this opening slowly changes over time. I think that's actually a really nice touch. Did I give this opening a 7 before? I think it's more like an 8. Really catchy intro, really strong visuals. Still can't compare to the ending, though. The ending song is so good. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. There's a jellyfish again, yeah. Why is his compared to a jellyfish? Like that? What's that symbolic for? We haven't really seen uh, his two friends in a while. Like, we've seen them briefly. They're training for that, like, contest or whatever. But they, in terms of, like, the main story, they haven't really been involved. Look at all the people gathering around now. So many people. So in the intro, he's sitting down being friends with uh, Junpei. So I can only assume that, like, Junpei and him, like, Junpei comes to the good side. I assume. All right, to you someday. It's music. Down, 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 down. Oh shit! Whoa! So he has powers now. 
He has straight up abilities. Oh, wow, that's oh, that's so cool looking. That's so cool looking visually. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he just talked to you about valuing life, how you couldn't kill someone. Whoa, dude. Yeah, this guy got a power up, considering he had nothing before. Oh, shit. Poison. Okay. Wow. Basically, he gets to cheat. He gets to immediately start at a higher level. <laughs> oh, shit. You forgot. UG is strong as F. Oh, the jellyfish is taking the punches, though. Oh, nice. Holy shit. That's because Yuji's like naturally overpowered. That's crazy. They still haven't really explained that why he's just so strong, but. Because even before he got his training, like. Uh... Oh shit, dude. He's having a breakdown. Whoa! Oh, that looks so cool. Oh no. Go Yuji. Wow, that sound effect. Wow. Oh, back to pretty Gojo. <laughs> Oh shit. Ow. You know that's gotta hurt. Uppercut to the frickin' second story. Well, to be fair, the life that he has is kind of gone with this. Uh, does he? Does he know the? I forgot. Does he know the mom died? Oh my god, he just let it hit him. Oh my god. Wow. All to appeal to his heart. Yep. I figured this would happen. Gonna recruit him.
Huh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mahito's here. Oh, 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 that's so gross. Oh, and the look on his face. I mean, you kind of are an idiot, but you're a good idiot. Uh oh. <laughs> You're just now figuring it out. Oh, God. Wow. Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> oh no. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. <coughs> oh no. Oh, oh, oh God, he's just taking rib shots. <laughs> oh my God. This is all what he wanted. This is all according to Mahito's plan. I refuse. Oh, he's, he's, I mean, he's surprised. What's going on here? Dude, everyone's just getting effed with right now. Both Junpei and you, uh, Yuji are just getting like gut punched by their partners. Yeah. What I just say. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> the visuals they use are so good. That's crazy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this episode's so sad. Oh, dude, Yuji's about to get pissed. I think Yuji's about to go ham. Look how happy he looks. What a, what a, what a loser. Yep, dude, he's about to beat your ass. And I'm all for it. Yeah. <laughs> the music. He just got like an in fight power up. Oh. 
<laughs> Yo. Wow. Dude, I don't like comparing this to Mob Psycho over and over again, but he's basically going the 100% mode right now, where his emotions just boil up and get to him. Like, holy shit. <sighs> Obviously, he's going to get returned back to normal. I wish that they, I wish they didn't spoil that stuff in the trailer, in the intro. That, like, he would become friends with the, uh, Yuji and stuff. <clears throat> Ghetto. Who's Ghetto? Oh. <coughs> so again, he just wants Sakuna to come out. Yeah. Hmm. This guy's so creepy. I don't hate him as a character. I just want his ass to get beat. That's all. That's all I want. Oh my god. Whoa, he turned into a bird. Oh my god. Nice. Yeah. Although, is it really hurting him is the question. Whoa, dude. Battle of the Minds. Dude. This animation is going to ham right now. Holy shit. Yo. All right. Fight just escalated. Dude, he made chain whips with blades. <laughs> this guy's insane. Uh oh. What just happened? Oh! Oh! That's so crazy. The amount of control he has. He just pulls him. He just pulls him down. Oh, this is this is already the best fight of the series so far. <clears throat> uh. Yuji is so strong. If I had to compare him to someone, he's like the Hulk. The more angry you make him, it just gets stronger. But he he can't like regenerate. Oh no, Sasuna. I, I wonder if Sasuna's uh, helping him regenerate. I, it hasn't really shown yet. It did before, but it hasn't this fight. I don't think. Can he do that with... Uh, uh, yeah, I better say, I don't think he can do that with him inside of him like that. Yeah. He's about to have a talk with him. <laughs> All out at once. Wow. <laughs> Damn, dude. That's crazy. Wow. He's about to crush his head. Psh. Or headbutt him. He might go for a headbutt. Yep. Oh! Holy shit. 
Yo, you're getting destroyed, my guy. Oh, shit. What? What just happened? Oh, yes, Nanami. Come in a clutch. But how did he teleport behind him like that? What? Nanami's showing up just on time, though. Oh, shit. I've been stabbed several times. Oh, but I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So the important part, second. Yeah. Seven three sorcerer. Nice. Mahito's crazy. He's hurting. He's got to be hurting a little bit though. He's taking a lot of hits. Yeah. I just beat the shit out of his face. No big deal. <coughs> hmm. This is the best episode of the series so far. This is so good. And it's not just because the fight. It's like the music and like the dialogue. Hell yeah. I mean, let's be honest, they're probably not going to beat him here, but. And that's the end of the episode. Man, this this intro, this outro will always hit right. Like normally, like for like a My Hero or something, I'll be like the second you see the credits. Oh, no, the episode's over. For this one, like, yeah, it sucks the episode's over, but you get this banger. Da, na, na. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I dance like every time to this. It's just so good. Um, yeah, that was the best episode of the series so far. No question about it. Uh, we're actually, we actually have a long uh, time after this. So we definitely have a, uh, hold up. Okay, I'm going to go to the beginning of the Jujutsu scroll. Uh, let me see if I can find the beginning. All right, Juju Scroll. All right, I'll talk more about the episode itself after we watch this. All right, three, two, one, go. Juju Scroll. Oh, it's that game where you try to like, okay. What? A bunch of demons trying to like play the game? Or evil spirits, I should say. Watch him fail in the first one. No, you got it. I think it launches out the top when you when you get him, right? Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> That was like the most random Juju, Juju scroll ever. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not going to watch. I don't watch the previews for these because I like to be totally in the dark. Um, so I'm not going to watch the preview. But yeah, that episode, again, not just ju not just for the fighting, although the fighting was spectacular. Uh, the dialogue, uh, seeing that raw emotion from Yuji and then like, just the way the fight flowed and the the, the horror what, what happened to Junpei, like I, I have one complaint though. Uh, maybe this is just me. I'm kind of I don't like how they showed Yuji and Junpei like being buddies in the intro, because then it like then you like I already I already <clears throat> suspect that he's gonna be revived back to normal and stuff like. Now most most of the time you would just be led to that conclusion anyway because it's like. 
he's like a main character. He's probably getting saved. But like, it, it, they show him together in the intro, like laughing and together with the other friends. So it's like, they're going to recruit him. He's going to be fine. Like, why kind of reveal that in the intro? Other than that, the intros have been like really good that not being spoilers and stuff. But that's like my only complaint. Other than that, uh, this is a really emotional episode. A lot of great fights. And uh, yeah, just freaking awesome. Um, <laughs> a def- this is 10 out of 10. This is like the best. Like this show has been great so far, but this is like easily the best episode. And we're still not even done with the fight. My boy Nanami showed up. So, you know, I'm excited to see how he can help take him down with his 7-3 technique or whatever he called it. Uh, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. And leave your thoughts down below. And until next time, this has been Mighty Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.